NASA's tracking a bus-sized asteroid heading towards Earth. Oh my goodness. Don't worry, guys. There's a firmament. We're going to be okay. You don't know what the firmament is or believe we have one? Well, you should stick around because I'm going to prove it to you scientifically. First, let me show you something. You probably still think you live here, but guys, this is just a picture. They admit to it being a picture. And if it was real, why are the copy and paste clouds the exact same? Second, if you don't know what the firmament is, well, it's what every single ancient culture believed was actually over our heads, not endless space. You know, an enclosed system, kind of like we're in a terrarium. Well, every single culture except for our current day one who NASA provides us fake pictures of. You see, like I said, every single ancient culture has thought that we lived in an enclosed system. And some of them even thought that there were layers to the firmament, kind of like this one. And funny how it lines up with the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever heard of Roy G. Biv? Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, blue, violet. Imagine that. Do you know rainbows take on the shape of the medium that the light is shining through? Kind of like you can only have a straight rainbow through a straight prism and a rounded rainbow through a rounded prism. Let me show you something. Here's me shining my iPhone light into a rounded paperweight. Do you see what appears here? A rounded rainbow. One that you can't produce unless you're shining it through a rounded medium. And hey, that kind of looks like something. Doesn't that kind of look like something to you? Kind of looks exactly like the sun that we see because the sun isn't a burning ball of gas 93 million miles away. Here's what good old NASA shows us the sun looks like. Funny, if it's a giant ball of fire, why does it hurt my eyes to look at? Fire doesn't hurt my eyes to look at. You know what does? A light. A light hurts your eyes to look at. You know who calls the sun a light? God in the Bible. He made a greater light to rule the day and a lesser light to rule the night. You know what he also made and told us about in the Bible? The firmament, which divided the waters from the waters. If endless space is up there, why do they talk about waters? Well, here's what NASA shows you when you zoom in on stars. Still pictures. They're a picture and they zoom in on the picture. But have you ever seen what a star looks like live, animated, in real time, in real action? Well, it kind of looks like a pool light shimmering in water. That's the dog star Cirrus, taken by real people with real powerful telescopes and cameras. Now remember when I said I was going to prove it to you? Well, this is the time I do that. God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven. So the lights, the sun, the moon, the stars, they're in the firmament. The sun we see is just the light shining through the firmament. And you want to see evidence of that? This is video from my very own backyard during the April 8th eclipse two Aprils ago. And you can see that's a lens flare, but you can see something else there that's not a lens flare. That's the sun shining through the firmament to the sun we see. And I wasn't the only person to capture this. Multiple people captured it, and depending on your angle, you're going to see different layers of the firmament. It's part of the bigger reason they spray the skies, so you don't notice anomalies that would wake you up out of the globe matrix. And here's another video from that same day that my friend took with a solar filter on capturing the sun we see and the layers of the firmament. It's also why people have captured two suns. It's not two suns, you're seeing the sun's reflection in the layers. In the layers in the layers. It's why sometimes you see a double rainbow. It's reflecting back off the firmament. You see, they taught us wrong on purpose. You know why? You want to know why? Because they want you disconnected from your divine creator and this divine realm that we live in. They want you not knowing that God created this all for us and that we're at the center of creation. You know why that? Because if you knew that, you would have no fear and you would not listen to the talking heads on the TV telling you to do things like this and to go cast your vote for the 
person that it doesn't matter because they select them, you don't elect them. They showed you this so you would feel unimportant and insignificant and be powerless and just listen to what they have to say. It's a system of control and it's hiding God from you. And once you know that you don't live here, you stop taking their medicine, you stop listening to their indoctrination, you take all your power back and you realize the only laws you need to obey are the laws of the most high which are basically treat everyone with love, kindness, and respect. Love your neighbor. It's not that hard. But of course, all this for entertainment purposes, people, I'm sure that God just got lazy this day and he decided to hit copy and paste. And even though every single culture that ever existed, except this current one today that isn't as smart as they claim to be, all thought we lived in an enclosed, stationary, flat system. No, they, they all had it wrong. We're much smarter, even though they could build the pyramids and we can't even figure out how to lift one of those blocks at all. Not at all. I mean, have you ever seen what happens to a tractor when they try to move a block that big? But sure, slaves did it. And I'm sure that the sun is a burning ball of fire 93 million miles away that hurts my eyes. Entertainment only, people.